Hey everyone, TGIF update, free NBA pick coming your way. Here a little late in the day getting the video up. I had a had a uh, fun night last night, a little bit too fun. One of those deals, uh, always got the rock and roll stuff in the background. Went and saw Eddie Van Halen's kid last night in concert here at the House of Blues in Mandalay Bay. Great concert. If you like uh, kind of grungy, sound garden-ish type, crunching guitar and thunder and drums and a really good voice. Check out Wolfgang Van Halen and the band Mammoth. They're really good and worth the price of admission to go see them. That being said, free play. We'll get to what we got on the website after the free pick. We're switching up these videos and putting kind of the promo stuff in the back. We don't hype it up hardly at all for you, but we're going to put them in the back, get right to the free play. Your free play on the Bulls one, whew, barely. The free pick on golf one yesterday, too, if you checked out. I told you what it was here and also Twitter at Sports. so check it out. But nonetheless, let's get another free play winner going for you here today. Lakers Clippers tonight. Now, the Lakers kind of showed their hand in not doing anything at the trade deadline at all. LeBron James is pissed. Well, you know, Clippers, what are they bringing in? Rodney Hood, Covington. Powell, it's not going to have a huge impact. Both these are below average teams, average at best. You know, especially the Lakers, who have the third toughest remaining schedule. They have to, out of 24 games, they have to go 500 just to meet their season win total over and under. They got to go 12 and 12 to, to exceed their, they're not going to do it. Uh, not without Anthony Davis. But this game's about optics to me. Clippers have beat them twice this year. LA's laying a point, point and a half here. I like the Lakers on the money line. They have the best player on the floor in LeBron James. And whether you love him or hate him, LeBron James is like Tom Brady. You either love him or you hate him. There's no gray area in between. James is one of the best basketball players in the NBA still to this day. Not the greatest. I'm not going to get into the GOAT comparison because Michael Jordan is the best player I've ever seen. I've seen him live and I'm older than most of you watching this video. But anyway... LeBron James, I don't know what a player prop is on him tonight in terms of points, but if it's under 30, I'd probably take the over because he's going to have to have a big game. Now, the Lakers did, heading into the All-Star break, do a whack job on the Utah Jazz, 106-101, um, which is impressive because Utah is one of the better teams in the NBA that no one's talking about. They got a lot going on there, man. Gobert and Mitchell and, uh, and Quinn Snyder is a good basketball coach. It's a good team. You know, you keep you know, Everybody kind of forgets about them. But, you know, L anyway, L.A. beating them. And the fact that the Clippers have beat them twice this season and both times they met on this floor that Lakers call home and the Clippers call home, I just think the Lakers got enough tonight to get over on them. I think they come out with some purpose, a sense of urgency. They kind of had one going into the break. LeBron played well in the All-Star game. LeBron's been playing well. I think he carries them tonight. I would only play Lakers on the money line. Were they minus 130, 125, 130? Take any points. It could be a 106, 105 game. Why lay the one to take a push when you can take the money line and take the win? I'll take the Lakers on the money line tonight. One, And I'll guarantee you right now, there's not a buy sign on the Lakers because, quote, unquote, they have to win. They're even getting playoff contention for the play-in tournament. But... In this particular instance, I like them against the, the Clips to get over on them tonight there in L.A. at the Crypto.com Arena. I call it Staples because I'm old school. But I take the Lakers tonight on the money line. Today in the NBA, by the way, we have a six-unit top play. We've cased our last three top plays for plus 2,100. All of them were seven-unit picks. This is a six-unit pick. And I have another two-unit totals play as well. I have a totals play in the Pelicans and the Suns game. So, Chris Polroy didn't hurt them last night, did he? Not being there. They put up 124. I know it was against nobody, but, you know. Interesting, too, is that the Thunder. The Thunder was one of the best cover teams in the NBA, even though they have a horrible record. But that being said, we got a doubleheader there. We have a four-unit best bet on the PGA Tour today, passing in college basketball. We have a must-win weekend in college basketball. 
We are working on Saturday's card all day today. Going to have three or four games, and we're going to win them. Um, 100% transparent. I have been with you. It's not my year in the college basketball. I, I tell it like it is. It's just not my year. For whatever reason, it's not my year. So we change things up here and there, and it just hasn't hasn't clicked for us. But we're gonna we're gonna give it a, an A effort today and tomorrow and Sunday, and get ready to go and make some money. UFC Saturday looks like we might have a pick or two. Also NASCAR on Sunday. DocSports.com. We park a free sixty bucks in any new account. No strings, no obligation. Click the link in the description below. Get over to Docs. Open up an account. We'll park 60 bucks in there. Go around the website. Pick and choose your flavor. Win some money. Have a great Friday.